Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and we're taking a look at Android M, which is the new version of uh, Android that's going to be available later this year, and it's available in preview now. And you can see that there's a couple of differences. Right off the bat here, we've got this Do Not Disturb icon uh, right from the Quick Settings panel. There's also an option to uh, customize the Quick Settings panel, which did not used to exist. It's the System UI Tuner, and from here we can drag and drop our options, remove things, and um, generally cause a mess. Um, add tiles, remove tiles, and rearrange tiles. So that's the uh, system UI tuner. Another thing that's gotten a lot of uh, attention here is uh, app permissions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the app menu here. Now when you install new applications that uh, come from the Play Store and are optimized for Android M, they'll actually ask you when you first run them which permissions you'd like them to use. Instead of deciding whether you want to download them based on the permissions, you can uh, sort of make that decision when it asks. But you can also go in, even for apps that were not optimized for Android M, and say that uh, I don't want Business Calendar, for instance, to have access to my calendar information. Now, you'll get a notice saying that that might not uh, work properly, but you can choose it. Now, that would be a silly thing to choose for a Business Calendar, because that is an app that really works best with a calendar. Also, you can choose which notifications are available here. Uh, peaking is the new name for pop-up notifications or sort of the head-up display notifications. If you don't want apps to do that, you can uh, change it there. And also from the advanced settings, we can go into view all sorts of things here. So which apps have access to the camera, which have access to the calendar, and sensors and so on. We can adjust our default applications from here if you want to use something besides Chrome for your default web browser or a different phone dialer, SMS app, etc. And ignore optimizations has to do with new battery saving uh, applications. So we can tell it to uh, ignore if there are important applications that you want to run all the time. You can tell it to uh, to ignore the optimizations there. There's also a new memory uh, view here that tells you which applications are using not just uh, the most memory right now, but also how much they use on average. That's a handy way to figure out uh, what might be causing a performance drag. So those are some of the new settings. Uh, what else do we want to take a quick look at? There is a new app launcher here that scrolls vertically, shows your most frequently used applications at the top. And if you wanted to add widgets, they're now arranged by application to make them a little bit easier to scroll through. Volume, if you bring the volume all the way down, it goes into vibrate mode. Click it one more time, and we get the Do Not Disturb mode. Let's end that. Or we can get uh, more options here by ending, and we can adjust individually notification, media, and alarms. Now, in Do Not Disturb mode, alarms will still make sounds. There's no option to get rid of that. But overall, it's a generally simplified um, option for accessing your audio. So those are some of the overview, uh, some of the new features. There are a lot of other uh, changes, especially if you delve into developer options, uh, where you'll find things like new theme, which lets you change the color of the settings menus. Uh, so you can find more details at lilliputing.com, including some things not featured in this review. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a quick overview of Android M Developer Preview.